All right guys, it's Dory Under here again today, and today guys, I'm doing a Wolves v Chelsea preview. In just over 48 hours, Wolves will be hosting Chelsea, hoping to bounce back from five defeats in six games and only picking up one point. However, if you thought Huddersfield was tough, Chelsea are going to be even tougher. So let's get straight into my Wolves v Chelsea preview. So guys, I have seen Wolves fans saying that they're desperate for plan B and is Nuno the right man to take us forward? Well, all I'm going to say is yes, we do need a plan B and yes, Nuno is the right man to take us forward. Just because we've hit a sticky spell doesn't mean Nuno has to instantly be sacked and I'm can guarantee that Fossen are not going to sack Nuno if we don't beat Chelsea because our owners aren't as stupid as Southampton's. I do think Chelsea coming right now for a bounce back match is actually quite good for Wolves because we seem to be able to play better against the topper teams like Tottenham, Man City, Man United and Arsenal. We seem to just perform better because there's no pressure on us and we could just sit behind the ball and counter and hopefully at least something out of the Chelsea match just to get points back on the board. If not, we have to get something out of Newcastle. I think that Peters will be the key for us winning the game if we're going to beat Chelsea. For me guys, our main strength against Cardiff was set pieces and Chelsea's main weakness was set pieces. Most of Fulham decent chances did come off set pieces and I think if we can get that right against Chelsea on Wednesday, we could have a chance of grabbing the goal and possibly holding on. Another thing as well guys is that there is going to be a change in the team because Ruben Neves is banned and I think this could be actually a very good sign for us. Ruben Neves is suspended for the Chelsea match and I think it's actually a good thing because it means that we have to change the midfield whether we put someone more like Saiz in that midfield role and let Matinho get forward and be creative or if we play Morgan Gibbs-White and have some fresh legs and pace and attacking ability into the midfield. Either way, I think it will be good because Neves and Matinho have started to stop dominating teams and maybe we're missing someone like Alfred and Dai. Finish off our guys, I'm going to give my prediction. Do I think Wolves can win this match? Yes, I do. If we really put our hearts and minds into it, work hard and don't switch off at all, we can win this match. However, it's going to be very tough indeed as we can see the confidence is slowly going out the Wolves team and Chelsea have only lost once this season in the Premier League. It's going to be tough. It's going to be interesting to watch. I was going to say entertaining. It'll be interesting to watch to see how the Wolves team react. But for me, guys, I'm having confidence and I'm going Wolves 2, Chelsea 1. Anyway, guys, that is it from me today. Let me know in the comments section how do you think Wolves will get on against Chelsea? Do you think we're capable of beating them or do you think Chelsea are just going to run away with the match? Also, guys, let me know as well. Would you sack Nuno if we didn't win in the next couple of matches? Let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll speak to you guys later.